Yo there guys, this is Cobb, and this is the second dual guide in the series, this time covering one of the hardest counters to destruction warlocks in the game right now, and that is uh, Shadow Priest. As usual, I'm going to be splitting the video into three sections, and these are handling openers and avoiding fears, forcing defensive cooldowns, and taking the kill. Now we just want to reiterate before we start, Shadow Priests really are a huge counter for the destruction spec, and I've come to realize that against a good priest, the margin for error is almost zero. You cannot make one mistake. Just like against a warrior, you're going to be far better off setting your pet on passive and keeping it at a distance to avoid the priest's fears. The chances are that the priest will land a fear on your pet at some point anyway, but we need to at least make him go out of his way to land it. Also in the opener, set your portal at a range 2. This is important because it's absolutely essential that you do not get feared at any point by the priest and your portal is going to help you a lot with this. Use it to portal away from his Siphine before it can fear you, or use it to portal his Psychic Screen. If you never have to trinket one of his fears, then you're off to a really really good start, because now you can use your trinket on the Priest's Silence, and this means you can play it a lot more aggressively. Just as a quick note, if you do get feared, especially by a Siphine, do not trinket that fear. You will need the trinket for the Silence, so it's very very risky to trinket a fear. Okay, so you've avoided the fears like a boss. Stage 1 complete. Now for the second part. Forcing the priest's defensive cooldowns. Now if you don't know what you're doing here, this can be an absolute nightmare. This is because the defensive cooldowns of a shadow priest are on tiny cooldowns. We have sacrificial pact, 1 minute. They have spectral guise, 30 seconds. We have unending resolve, 3 minutes. They have dispersion, 2 minutes. We have dark regen, 2 minutes. They have fade. 30 seconds. This ultimately means that you're going to have to force all of these cooldowns as quickly as possible and then land the kill on the priest before they come back off of cooldown. If not, you're going to be in for a long ass duel in which you're going to be on the constant back foot. As you can see here, so many times I try and nuke and one of these mini cooldowns is available to save the priest. So how do we force what I call the three escapes as quickly as possible? Fade, Spectral Guys, Disperse. Let's start with Fade. You start out the duel, avoiding the fears any way you can, and then start spamming fears really early on, and a good Shadow Priest will fade to make himself untargetable to avoid being CC'd. Because if he doesn't do this, you're going to force a trinket with the fear. Okay, so now he's in fade. Now is the perfect time to Shadow Fury him. This is going to interrupt any cast he wants to get off while he's in his fade, keeping you in a good spot. Then go to fear him again. This is very, very important, because to avoid the fear while he's stunned, He's going to have to use his Vanish, or Spectral Guys. Now you've got to force his third and final escape, and this is Dispersion. You've just forced both Fade and Spectral Guys by just mashing fears on him. Forcing Dispersion is no different. Use whatever survival cooldowns you have to at this point, just get him into a fear at all costs. And make sure you spam it to get through his fear ward, and to fear his trinket if he decides to use it at this point. He's very likely you're going to land this fear now, because he has nothing to actually avoid getting put into it. And now once he's in it, you're free to cast into him. He can't vanish, he can't fade, so either he has to disperse or take a Chaos Bolt to the face. More experienced priests though will not disperse to your Chaos Bolt unless you're casting it with Dark Soul and your DPS Trinket up. So pop them if you have to, it's really really important that you force the dispersion at this point. Once the priest is dispersed, he has nothing to stop you and you're finally ready to take the kill. Now for actually taking the kill, this is where things are going to get sketchy. Because fade and spectral guys have such tiny cooldowns, you actually only have 10 to 15 seconds in which you can kill the priest. Go balls to the wall, fear him right out of his despair if you can, and land a second chaos ball with your cooldown still up. The only problem is he might be feared out of range while in dispersion, so you can't land a second fear. If this happens, blanket silence him to stop him from dispelling your dark soul, then land the fear and chaos bolt him. Most of the time, if you do all of this right, he'll go down, but it is in no way a guaranteed kill as you see just here. I understand if this whole strategy is hard to take in all at once, so I'm going to skim over it uh, really really fast again in just about a minute. But first, I just want to say something about Grimoire of Sack and Blood Fear spec. The problem with running Blood Fear against your Shadow Priest is the cooldown on your fear. Remember, you need to go through both their Trinket and Fear Ward before you can land anything full. That means for the first 30 seconds of the duel, 
you're going to have barely any control at all until you can feed the priest full. Next, if you're running with the Sacrifice Grimoire, the priest isn't having to bother trying to fear your pet, meaning every fear, including the Siphon fears, can be aimed right at you. You'll struggle a lot more as Saxpec, and with the Shadow Priests already countering destruction, that's really saying something. But it's not impossible. Follow the same tactics as I'm about to quickly recap again, and go for the best. However, if the burst fails and you're specking a blood fear, the duel is pretty much over because if you're constantly burning 10% of your own health just to fear the priest, there's no way you're going to be able to survive once your defensive cooldowns are gone. Okay, now I really want to quickly say something. Do not be disheartened to lose to a shadow priest. It doesn't matter what anyone says, they are destruction's counter. They have shorter cooldown defensives, they can heal better, they can dispel our Dark Soul and our Backdraft buff, and their silence is 3 seconds longer than ours. The only thing that's going to scare them is our burst. It's going to take a ton of practice to execute this tactic right, and there is zero margin for error. I'm not ashamed at all to admit that I lost more duels than I won against this guy. He was really good help and a really cool guy and a really, really good priest. Okay, so remember guys, like this. Avoid being feared and fear spam. This will force his feared and his vanish. Fear again and chaos bolt to make him disperse. Now play aggressive and take the kill fast. If the nuke fails and you're a pet spec, you have a fighting chance to basically survive forever until the Shadow Priest goes oom, and this can happen. You're going to see a couple of really really long duels coming up just now, but I would not advise ooming the Shadow Priest as a viable tactic. Alright guys, as in the previous video, I'm going to show the first duel in which I get absolutely destroyed. I make every mistake in the book and the Shadow Priest just obliterates me. Then I'll show a couple more duels in which things go my way and I get this tactic right. Thanks for watching guys, I really really hope this helped. Stay Destro and I'll see you all in the next video.
standing here defiant What's stronger than you thought? I won't be overtaken Give me everything Kill, 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 kill